Jesus asked a lot of questions. In fact, when you go through the Gospels and just pull out the questions, write them down, and now I want you to ask yourself every question as if Jesus is asking you. Remove all the scene, what's going on behind that question, because what Jesus is doing is he's trying to find out what's in your heart and reveal it to you. For instance, in John 1.38, Jesus asks a couple of his new followers, what do you seek? Oh, that's a very heavy question. So I want you to receive it as if Jesus is saying to you, what do you seek? Well, their response was, where do you dwell? Oh, that's a great question. He says, come and see. But you see, we're at the point in mankind's history. It is really time to start doing some deep soul searching. And that is especially important for this side of the pre-trib rapture of the bride, because we don't want any of us to be blindsided. Jesus does not want you to be blindsided. So he is asking you questions and he's wanting you to really think about them and give a sincere and heartfelt answer. Some of the answers you're gonna be really disappointed at yourself with, but now's the time to be working through that and asking the Lord to help you. Some of your answers, you're gonna realize, wow, I've come a long way. I would not have answered this way about five years ago, 10 years ago, six months ago. So you see, sometimes it's just to encourage us. But you know, I know you guys really like the shorts. They've been doing very good, but you know me, I love the deep thinking. The team here, we're just a bunch of nerdy Bible thumpers. And I do have some very deep teachings to give you. And I realize that when I present, I'm about as interesting as a, a door. And I think that's why you're liking the shorts so much. I just make my point and get out of here. But there's some teaching that I wanna start giving again that's, you know, it just deserves more time. Kind of like this video, it deserves more time. And I'll try to be a little bit more interesting. Uh, I ha kind of hold back my quirkiness because I can kind of overdo it. Anyway, like I said, it's on this side of the rapture that we really want to find out and the Lord wants to reveal to us what's really in our hearts. What are you seeking? And then I want you to ask yourself, what are you seeking from Jesus? So, you know, one is kind of a, a general statement. In life, what are you seeking? But then just really get even down to the nitty gritty. What are you seeking from Jesus? Really think about it. Anyway, I just want you to know that's a fun way to study the Bible. It brings more interest to your studies. And a great place to be planting yourself right now is in the Gospels. And you know, something that I wanna share with you is, because this team were just a bunch of nerdy Bible thumpers, the Lord has revealed to us when, or I should say, what is the trigger that causes him to come and get us? And I will tell you, it's not a date, it's not a new moon, it's not a political activity, it's not a catastrophe, but it's hidden in the scriptures. It's hidden in the Gospels. Now, have, had you been looking at all my videos, I've been leaving hints. So any one of you uh, could just go back and listen to videos and you'll be getting hints. Now I've withheld some of the information because if you knew what that trigger was, you would just sit on your haunches and you wouldn't be about our Father's business. But if you prayerfully seek the Lord, you will know why he has waited, what he is watching for. And you'll know what is going to cause him, what the catalyst will be for him to come and get us. Anyways, I'm not trying to be mysterious. I'm not trying to be clickbait. I am trying, however, to make sure all of you listeners, this amazing community here, and I know this channel only attracts the bride. You know, church folk don't like being here. But I just want to make sure that we're all there on that day. And it's going to be pretty quick here. And something could happen. Lots of weird things are happening around the world. But in the event, 
power goes out, Wi-Fi goes out, uh, YouTube goes down. And if all you have is the Bible and a hardback concordance, I just want to make sure that you know how to continue your studies of the scriptures and in particular your studies of Bible prophecy because this is so important and many people are being deceived right now because they don't know Bible prophecy they don't they have not known what to be looking for and, you know we don't know specifically you know right down to the minute detail detail you know what to be looking for but we have a good enough general idea through studying the scriptures of the things that we should be on the alert for so that a red flag goes up in our spirit. I'll try to make my videos so I make fewer points so that they're shorter because I know you do like that and I'll talk to you later. Bye!